ว่าว่าว่า the impact challenges and cost of Thailand's port land bridge แหล่ไอ้ยาจิงกีแหล่ very expensive โอเคโอเคโอเค the proposed Thailand's land port bridge project อ่ะ here is a list of some impacts and challenges and cost construction cost estimated at 40 billion US dollars construction overrun port efficiency local corruption land cost infrastructure cost ecology cost road accident and blockages monsoon season landslide terrorist sabotage bad road condition security cost port efficacy cost of two ports efficacy of project port delay road, ma road maintenance container truck and cost human factor government factor political factor infrastructure maintenance etc etc the acting transport minister says that Thailand's plan to build a bridge port may mean ships sailing that new route instead of going through Singapore could cut their traveling time by a few days. It may come at a higher cost. The exact time saving will depend on many factors, such as the time needed to unload the cargo from the vessel, then transport it across the land bridge, load onto the vessel at the other end. These would likely incur additional expenses for shipping companies. So they need to consider the overall costs versus the benefits compared to sailing through the Straits of Malacca and Singapore. Mr. Chi was responding to questions in Parliament about the impact Thailand's multi-billion dollar idea could have on Singapore as a shipping hub. The 90 kilometer long land bridge would connect two seaports, the Chumphon province on the Gulf of Thailand and the Ranong province on the Andaman Sea. This would essentially create a new sea trade route in the region, raising concerns about competition and relationships. In terms of um, relationships between countries, uh, between for example Thailand and the neighboring countries within ASEAN, has this uh, sort of um, deliberations been discussed? We can't prevent other people from enhancing their port facilities, their infrastructure, whether it is the land bridge that I uh, address in my reply to the questions, or some other type of infrastructure enhancements, uh, as well as building new capabilities. So therefore, I think the key for us is really to focus on how we, the port of Singapore, can stay competitive and to stay relevant. Hey, hello friend, we come to the end already. Have you subscribed yet? Yes, press the subscribe button and also the like button and also the share button. Thank you and have a nice day.